Welcome to the Barclays Premier League Review Show with me, Marcus Buckland, alongside Dave Farrer. Hull City's KC Stadium is our first port of call this week for a match of significance at both ends of the table. Manchester United may not have been at their best of late, but do appear to be closing in on a third successive title. One win in 17 had left a very nervous Hull just three points above the drop zone and facing an almighty scrap for survival. Tigers boss Phil Brown has maintained a brave face in public, at least, despite the slump, which has come at the worst possible time. He made two changes from last week's defeat to Sunderland, with Nick Barmby and Caleb Foland coming in. Michael Turner is one of only two outfield players in the Premier League not to have missed a minute of the season. Fernando Torres's brace in midweek left him one short of 50 goals in a Liverpool shirt. There was added pressure for the Spaniard to perform, with Steven Gerrard still sidelined by a groin injury. Lucas continued to fill the void there, with Jamie Carragher deputising as skipper. What next for Liverpool, who've become the great entertainers following successive four-all draws against Arsenal and before that Chelsea in the Champions League? Commentary from Dean Sturridge and Daniel Mann. Martin Atkinson, our referee this afternoon, gets us underway. No margin for error, certainly in Liverpool's case. It certainly has been a bright start from the home side. Martin Skirtle up there. It's Mascherano. Not particularly subtle, Zayat underneath it though, because Torres was the target. This is Ben Ayoun. Oh, beautifully done. And he'll fall for Torres! Well, an important save that. A brilliant save. The first opportunity is to Yossi Ben Ayoun. It's a great driving run, and then he just dub dummies Michael Turner, and Turner gets a decent blocking. And then the opportunity for to Torres, but it's a great touch from Mayo. He's just looking for that far corner. You can see what in his, what's in his mind. He's not far away. Well, confidence obviously flowing through his veins to try something like that from Yossi Ben Ayoun. Well, Sam Ricketts to wind one up again. Real part of the Hull Armoury, Turner lurking on the near post again. Didn't quite get there. Giovanni will, it's a terrific strike! He can hit a ball, and that wasn't that far away. Well, he's known for his spectacular efforts, and that's what this is. It's great technique, he keeps over it, and it's got Pepe Reina very worried. Good ratting again from Boateng, plenty of that from him. Advantage played by the referee here. And Mascherano. Monster free kick will get it. That's an interesting decision. Little kick by Boateng right at the end, but I think it was after. Mascherano realised he'd lost possession. And again, oh, that is magnificent! Well, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. And that was a stunning follow-up from Xavi Alonso to give Liverpool the lead right on the stroke of half-time. Well, if the per first effort was poor, the second was exceptional. It's a great strike by Xavi Alonso. One piece of genuine top quality from Xavi Alonso has made the difference here. Arbeloa. Three to aim at, Count to help him. Kilban to shut the door temporarily at least, but Arbeloa's in here. Might drop for Torres! And when it drops to Torres, you know that spells danger. Well, it was such a difficult chance. Little interchange between Kate and then it falls to him from the tackle from on Arbeloa. Folan being blocked off by Skirtle now. He lashed out a little there, Folan. And he's off. Well, Hull City's hopes surely extinguished there. A red card for Caleb Folan, and they've got to play over half an hour with ten men. You have to say it is a great spot and a great decision. The kick there on Skirtle is out of order. It's great officialdom.
Absolutely deafening noise around the KC, but it's Liverpool on the attack. Oh, Zaya! Brilliant defending. That touch just takes it away from Fernando Torres because he's lurking and waiting to get on the end of that to make it 2 0. Ben Ayun, Alonso. He wanted offside there, but Ben Ayun had stayed on. Might drop for Skirtle here and counts! Finishes it off for Liverpool. And they are still fighting hard for this Premier League title. Well, it's a fortunate end. It's a shot from Skirtle that gets wrong, but the fox in the box. He reacts very well and gets on the end of the effort. Inadvertently drops to him and he finishes it well. Game over. Ben Ayun. Ricketts standing up. This is Mendy. That's a very ambitious ball and a very good one for Daniel Kuzan. Marnie up in the box with him. Kuzan gets it across. Giovanni! There's life yet in Hull City. 18 minutes for them to save it. Brilliant play. Great diagonal ball, 60, 70 yards, right into the path of Daniel Kuzan. And when he's one-on-one, -on -one, he has the pace to get away from Skirtle and puts it into a great area. And Giovanni, does anybody want to score a goal? Giovanni does, he gambles, he has the desire to get into the six-yard box. And it's a very good, simple finish at the end of it. Well, you were right, Dean. It was a little dangerous to say game over. Famous last words. Here's Kaut. Or oh, Torres looking to rise! Well, that could have been game over. Kaut provides a decent cross to the back post. It's a very good area, and it's unfortunate for Torres that it comes back off the crossbar. Free in the area with Arbaloa here. Deflection and count. Well, we hesitated to say game over before, but it certainly is now. Dirk Kout, as we head for the 90th minute, secures the Liverpool victory and secures top spot temporarily in the Premier League. Well, it's cruel, cruel justice for all the effort that Hull have put in. They get punished again. It's a deflection. That falls to Dirk Kout. And he punishes them for it. It is victory for Liverpool. They keep pressing hard in this race for the Premier League title, but a hard task it certainly was today at times.